Okay, okay. I've, I've messed around with it a little bit. I have found the, the format I kind of want to go for and have realized that I don't have a ton of space and there's areas I have to work with, which is a little annoying, but I mean, <laughs> it's so cluttered right now. It's terrible. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience, both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell you more when he's ready, but again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. All right, cool. I like him. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the Room of Requirement has its own rules. Very, very neat. I will be sure to speak with Deke if yeah. I need anything. There he goes. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Well, <laughs> yes. Come on, tell me. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. Got it. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. I'm ready. I've got plenty. I know I do. I have the Moonstone you requested, Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Okay, okay. Yo, what up, Deke? You don't gotta clean it up. It cleans itself, buddy. Buddy! Can we just relax? Deke. Uh... Cool. Let's, uh, start winding all these bad boys up. I don't know what it's making, but it's making something. Uh... We need a maximum potion, which is a shame. But for now, we can do that and make two Wigan Wolves, because, uh, we need those. We just really need those. Okay, so... With a smart reflection. A lovely reflection or a divine reflection. Well, Gilderoy is quite divine, so I suppose we'll have to go with one of those. <laughs> I don't like how it's right there. Well, uh... Well, this is the clothing section, so, you know, I'd like to put it over here, but those are already there. So let's, uh, let's just try right here. Okay. Well, gross. Is that it? Oh, man. All right. We'll have this over here in this section while we're working. We can do that. Let's see, can we move this one? Uh, I, uh, oh, I literally just have to get rid of it, huh? How do I... Oh, I have to look at it and use Vanish. Ah, I get it now. I get it now. So we want to have this section look like this. Put that there. Maybe one more. And we can't put it there. Eh. Now this is going to bother me because this one's a little bit off. <laughs> Oh man. Oh man. Keep the 
this in the corner over here. Can we put it uh, here in the center? No. No space over? No. I don't like that it's blocking the bookshelf. Um, I'm trying to find any space for it over here. Man, I just don't like that it's near the bookshelf. You know what, fine. I'll put it over here, near the pottery plants. Hmm. Okay. Paintings. Hold up. I see, I can move all of these. And you, the dapper wizard, I need you, uh, you're, you're out of there. You're over here now. I like talking to this guy. He's actually kind of a turd. I tried to get a statue to attack me, but you know. That's okay. I forgive him. Table. We can get a, we can get a... A small one over here, right? This is gonna be too cluttered. I don't like that. But we'll get a big one. Right here in the middle of the room. Please tell me that reaches. No, dude. No, dude. Okay. Uh, okay. We can do it. Alright, let's see. No, don't do that again. Cool, so we're... I think that's it. No, it's not! <laughs> no! Oh! Fine, whatever. The scientific chair. Put one there. Put one here at the corner. Another one here. And then we'll have two back to back because people are buddy buddy. Uh, do we need more wall stuff? Oh, I got more wall decorations to do. Ugh. Fine. Fine. Sorry. Well, uh, a contraption. Real scientific way. Eh. I don't like these, if I'm being honest. What's this? Terrarium painting? I can work with that. Let me uh, grab these Dittany leaves real quick because I see that they're done. We'll set up uh, a few more of these. I need them. I need them. Alright, uh, back to this. Wall hangings. Uh, no, we'll just get a long mirror over here. Right there, right above the pot. Uh, one more we gotta do, huh? I suppose we can come back over here and just throw up one more painting. A little magical diagram, right, right there. Real scientific. Good work. Shall we move on? Yes. Yes, we shall. I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Yes! Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Yep, yep, show me, show me, show me. 
uh, we'll start on the right. All right, space bar, left click, F, space bar, space bar, okay, easy. I feel like these need to be the bottom row soon. The altering spell to customize it. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's like hitting every even the floor. Okay. Um No, we won't do that one then. We'll just do it to this. Uh, yeah. How do we do that? Let's look at something that I don't care about. So this is the alteration. Alter. Z and X. Ooh. Big mirror. Big mirror. Alright. Change the color of an item. Let's try that. Alright, come on, what do you mean? <laughs> put that back but I am gonna have one really big chair over here because <laughs> I love that no not that get out of here there we go big big chair all right let's, let's look at that how do I change Oh, because I'm silly. Let me come back over here. We'll change the chair to a different chair because we need to do that. So we'll bring that over to a botanical chair or an electric chair. Oh, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to rotate it. There we go. F, change the color. Ready for something a little more advanced. What? You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Deke! Deke, how are you this messy? <laughs> it's just like... I love it. Alright, uh... Botanical... I like eclectic, ex, ex, eclectic, except well, I don't know how to say that word. We'll stick with scientific, and we'll uh, we'll get a with a nice hot purple. Oh, I love that. What's blue look like? Blue also looks nice, but it's not as nice before the aesthetic I've already got going on. What's white look like? Uh, I don't know if I'd call that white, but all right. We're gonna go purple. Alter the balcony or floor of the room. I just did the floor, what do you mean? Oh, I didn't change the style as well. Alright. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? I do. Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Of course. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what ambience. sort of overall look most appeals to you? Ah. Uh... 
Yes. I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Yes. Oh, sounds perfect. I'd, I'd like more of like a, like a, a dusk twilight kind of look, but this? Ooh, now this is nice. The ambiance. Mm, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Deke, Indeed. what are you doing? No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. I could go hog wild with this for hours. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I lied, I like Actually, this. perhaps another time. I thought you said something fun to say. Um, is this a, a, a movable door? What's going on here? Okay. I am such a fan. <laughs> All right. All right. I mean, we can work with this for a minute. Give me whatever this is. More good news. Uh, okay. Give me the. There we go. No, not you. Give me the Dittany leaves, please. There we go. Now, we've got those just kind of cooking. Let's see what else we can make. Can't do anything with the pots yet. So we could have a bunch of potions brewing at once, but I'm more interested on in getting the actual ingredients going. Three small pots we've got. With a small pot. Don't need that. Got this. Two large pots. Let's put that over here. Man, why do they put bookcases there? It just makes it look bad. It's like like the Sims player in me coming out. Uh, I kind of want it in this main room as well. Is the thing. That will work. Let's go see what we can put in there. Big didn't he? Grab these one more time. And we'll make one more set of potions and dip out. I think that's everything we need to do in here for now. We can always get more spellcrafts later. But. And there's a flu powder. Yes! Big fan. Big fan. 
It's its own loading zone. I love it. Big fan. Love it. Have I told you that I love it yet? <laughs> Bonk. Bonk. Get him. Tell him. Tell him. Alright, alright, alright. Oh. This is entertaining. I'm a fan. Okay, so, next up. I didn't mean to hit that one. Can I pick you back up? I don't want you to explode or anything. That's unfortunate. Okay, so... We can head to town and sell some of our stuff off that we don't need. But... Learn a curse with Sebastian. Okay. Yep, we do need to do that as well. Where's Sebastian at? Oh, there. I see. A Maxima and Edris. Um, Let's do this. I do not know if I'll be able to afford the, the Maxima potion right now. As I spent a bunch of money, so I suppose it would be a good idea to go... Oh, man. Go see where Sebastian's at. Alright, so we're in this section. Uh, okay. Off on another adventure, are we? Uh-huh. Over here. Yeah. Sorry, Sebastian. I saw a key. Ah, a rhinoceros skeleton. I'm on the right track. What are you talking about? I literally was here doing that quest so long ago, and you didn't mention a thing. Then I found the final part of that quest. Man, I'm, I can't stand it. The smack a key. It's going to go down one more time, then it's going to jump across. Ready? Here we go. Not even close, baby. Give me that. I wish I could just jump over. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. Well, this way. Sure they do, but... There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Yeah, it is well discussed. It looks like a closet. How did you know how to do that? What do you mean? Oh, okay. It's like, yep. This is how you get in. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play Govstones here all the time. Huh. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. 
Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Thanks. Very fun. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. All right. Left click, space bar, space bar, F. Okay. D. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Okay. Guess we'll swap. Ooh. Another fire based one, and it's long range. I think this is more fitting for a long range spell list, whereas this is much closer ranged. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? Good. It's a tad hot. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. Hmm. Ordinarily... I would back Fig up hard. Sebastian's got out on a few limbs for me already. For no reason. And he just taught me cool new magic. I'm down. Buddy buddy. Buddy buddy till the end, Sebastian. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. Alright. I can see traces of ancient magic. 
ancient magic. I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does this allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Yes. Well, when you do yes, know, you do. tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Of course. I can't believe When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Our boy Gildaway is like, I, I, I don't know if I can actually wield the magic. Like, Bro, <laughs> you, you literally can like summon lightning and explode people. Also, very interesting diagrams here. More stuff? More stuff. Huh? That looks weird to everyone else, right? Like... Revelio. That looks like something. All right. I mean, I'm a big fan. Why'd you turn around? Was it an elevator or something? Hello, Sebastian. Wait. <laughs> you there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just... I Sebastian didn't mean to skip is going that. to get an earful about this. I don't like this kid. This. Oh, come on, I can make that jump. I wonder if you might be able to help me with a small, uh, project. You wanted to speak with me? I did. Hello, I'm Duncan Hobhouse. Pleasure to meet you. I've heard all about you, of course. Confronting trolls and dragons. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> honestly though, uh, they more so confronted me. I suppose it must seem that way. I'm not sure it's justified. It's often been a matter of circumstance. I'm going to presume your reputation is in the fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a, a puff scheme. Okay. <laughs> I, why why are all these options like to sound like a dick? I don't even know what that it's like what's a puff skin? It's like <laughs> what's to be scared of? It's like you're afraid of your own shadow too. It's like worse. Oh yeah, man, they're all really scary. It's like, I just want more information. Ugh, well they seem innocent, but their tongues can be most disturbing. Exactly. I wish more of our fellow students agreed with you. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be. I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puffskeen Dunkeen. 
Uh, I'm sorry, but you have to admit that's rather clever. I do not have to admit that. Everett said the same thing. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. What sort of plants should I expect in the hidden herbology corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. This guy is a coward. Come and see me as soon as you can. I've returned from a rather unproductive trip to the Ministry. Hoping your time has been more fruitful than mine. I would what? like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. All those Rebellion. Have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. I figured out how to open. Oh, that's right. What the? What was that? Show me your secrets. Aha! One, two, three, and here we go. Not even close, baby. I don't understand, and I don't care to understand. Too much for my little brain to try and sit around and figure out. Just get down here into this uh, hidden corridor and do whatever for our boy. Uh, coward something. Man, I want to figure out how to open locks already. Oh, hey, Miss Fig, what's up? Professor, what made you want to teach herbology? How lovely of you to ask. I've always had an affinity for greenery, so this situation is a bit of a dream come true. After graduation, I was thrilled to be asked to step in for my old herbology professor. He'd had a slight accident, you see. Oh dear. A shame for him, but it worked out well for you. Hmm. Well, he never cared. Really cared for the plants, and they could sense it. Oh, you'd be surprised how perceptive a plant can be. At any rate, the trouble began one day when he cut into a Wigan tree. Unfortunately for him, its leaves were hiding a bow truckle. You may recall the marvelous creatures that resemble a twig. The little beast gouged the professor's eyes quite fiercely, but terrifying, I'd imagine. Uh, likely for the professor, too. And that's when you took over as the herbology professor? Well, not quite. After three weeks at St. Mungo's, my predecessor regained a tiny bit of his eyesight. He insisted on returning to the greenhouse. Within a week, he had, he claims by accident, kicked a Chinese chomping cabbage, so it was back to St. Mungo's for him. <laughs> a fair bit of bad luck there, I'd say. Hmm. Well, I felt awful for him, but I dare say I felt a bit more sympathy for the cabbage. Upon his discharge from the hospital, his indifference to plants had turned to utter disdain. He lost what little patience he had left with a particularly temperamental venomous tentacula and, well, his resulting leave of absence continues to this day. 
I'm glad everything worked out as it did and that you're the herbology professor now. Very kind of you to say. I do love these gardens and helping my students grow. Huh. Lovely speaking with you. Have a wonderful day. Cool. Oh, and remember, be kind to your Wigan trees. Always, always. Uh, whatever those are. Uh, but no, we, we there was... I wanted to learn more about the spells. Okay. Oh, cool. Yoink. How do I get down there, though? Show me the main path. It's... This, I've got to be going the wrong way. Oh no, it's literally just going all the way around, huh? Okay. Let's see, we got one that's closer. Go to the north exit, I feel like that's a lot closer. Many quests of spell or level requirements. Right, of course. Well, I can do that. Up the wall! Ha boom uh, My legs! Uh, Still can't afford to stop now, though. I say that as we hit the collision and stop. Revelio. I love it. I love it so much. Hey! Akio. Give me that. Revelio. These beehives? No, they're not. All right, cool. Underneath me. What's this? Accio! Levioso! I don't know what it is. These dry vines are one spark away from becoming dead. That's right there. Let's get in there. And let's get the sneaky plant evidence. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Incendium! Devil's Snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Alright, um... There you are. Lumos! I don't like it at all. Don't panic and keep the lights. My goodness. <laughs> I hate it. Uh, we'll, we'll check up here real quick. Huh. Incendium. Lumos. Confringo. Lumos. Ha <laughs> Yeah, hop down, bud. Dog, get this everywhere. Oh my goodness. This is like giving me like flashbacks to the movie The Ruins. And I do not like it. If anyone else has seen that movie, you know just how exactly how creepy that one is. Alright, uh. Confringo! Does this keep them away from me? The little light barrier. Akio! Lumos. Okay. Seems the devil's snare was protecting a chest of some kind. 
Oh my. Lumos. Is this it? Revelio. Lumos. I don't like that over there. Let's make a quick jump. <laughs> I imagine a piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Yep, yeah, you would think, wouldn't you? Confringo! Accio! Confringo! Lumos! Confringo! Lumos! Give me that money. We're a friend, right? We'll have a couple more. Ugh. That wasn't bad at all, actually. Kind of spooky, but you know, not bad at all. He just ripped that whole thing down. Big stuff, big stuff. Unidentified neck item. Looks like it's legendary. Big fan. Alright, let's go drop this item off at our boy. Ooh. The Emerald Silk Robe. Uh, I'm lost? I'm stuck? I'm stuck and I'm lost? All right, where are you at? Where are you at, coward kid? I need to give you things. Everyone's sleeping now. Acha! Or that would destroy your knees. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. I'm literally never gonna do that. Ever, ever, ever. Have you found anything to, uh? Oh, Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. <laughs> it's a coward. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puff Scheme Dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff scheme dunking for me. Well, it's even funnier if they call you that now, even if you look brave. You just don't get it, you can't. Yo, the ethereal mouse. In trouble, are we? Paid up to that good. Thought as much. Well. A little bit. Well, either way, I think that's a good point to call it. We'll, we'll continue another quest next time. Maybe go see Mr. Fig. Maybe we'll uh, go get a broom. Who knows? Maybe do all those things. We'll find out.